probably the biggest thing that we're doing with the website is we we are going to be you know including a very robust uh, listing of communities for consumers who are interested in searching for any type of senior living community. Welcome to season seven of Bridge the Gap, a podcast dedicated to informing, educating, and influencing the future of housing and services for seniors. Powered by sponsors AccuShield, Align, Nick Map Vision, ProCare HR, Sage, Hamilton Captel, Service Master, The Bridge Group Construction, and Salinity, and produced by Salinity Marketing. Welcome to Bridge the Gap Podcast, the senior living podcast with Josh and Lucas. A great episode with a great friend and returning guest to BTG. We want to welcome Dave Schles of Asha. Welcome to the program. It's always a pleasure to be with you guys. Thank you for having me. Likewise, and we're excited to talk about the mid-year meeting. This is coming up June 17th and 18th at the Waldorf Astoria in Dana Point, California. Very excited about this upcoming meeting. As many of our listeners know that uh, we are avid attenders of the uh, membership meetings with Asha, and this year is going to be in a great location, and I'm sure you've got an exciting lineup Dave, would you get us some highlights of what people can expect if they attend? Sure. So yeah, we're real excited about the about the mid year meeting. Uh, again, this for us is a, is a meeting that is by design a little bit smaller. So we would expect probably somewhere around two hundred and fifty to three hundred attendees at this meeting. Um, usually, they like to have a you know an, an interesting outside of the industry uh, speaker. And our keynote uh, this year is uh, someone that I'm I'm really excited to hear from. Uh, his name is Eric Potterot. He is a, a PhD, um, so it's Doctor Eric Potterot. Um, but he's a really interesting guy. He is a clinical and performance psychologist um, who really spent the bulk of his career uh, with the Navy SEALs, and he was the uh, person who designed the mental toughness curriculum that has been used by the Navy SEALs for over two decades now. Um, he's also, after after he left the, the uh, Navy, he, he's done some other interesting things. Um, he has worked for the Miami Heat. He has worked for the Los Angeles Dodgers. He has worked for the uh, U.S. Women's National Soccer Team. Uh, so he's a you know really really interesting guy. He it happens that he has a book um, that's coming out called Learned Excellence: uh, Mental Disciplines for Leading and Winning from the World's Top Performers. Uh, it's a fabulous book. I I have read it, and uh, our attendees will get a copy of this book. But it is really really interesting. And and uh, again, you kind of take his learnings. Uh, you know, over the course of his career, uh, and they're really very applicable to to everyone. I mean, honestly, whether you're an athlete or not, it is just really, you know, it's it's fascinating. And uh, so, I think our I think our our attendees will will really enjoy the keynote presentation by uh, Eric Potterop. And then we have some other great sessions as well. I mean, you know, definitely. Uh, we we always like to you know focus on capital markets valuation issues so we've got a really good panel that will uh, cover that at the annual meeting we also have a, a session that will really kind of focus on on storytelling uh, which will tie into uh, our where you live matters consumer education initiative but again also you know kind of uh, you know. A, a big topic, I think, for the industry about, you know, how how can the industry be more proactive, more positive, uh, less reactive? And, uh, and we have we have, uh, you know, a terrific speaker on that session uh, is a guy named Richard Butt. And Richard is kind of a, a legendary uh, creative brand marketing executive, recently retired. Um but someone who has done a whole slew of very powerful kind of fortune 50 type campaigns for uh different businesses and uh 
you know, related sectors. So, you know, really excited about, you know, getting him out to the, to the meeting to talk about this because it's a, you know, it's a really um, important issue in it. And it ties, as I say, very much into what we're thinking about with our Where You Live Matters uh, consumer initiative. And we've got a, you know, a, a really nice session, I think, that is focused on, again, the successful integration of technology into senior living communities. And again, it's a, you know, it's a topic that we've been, you know, covering, you know, in recent meetings. And and obviously it's, it's, it's one of those areas where, again, you know, when you, when you look at this industry and what's taken place over the past, you know, several years, you know, we need to be more efficient. We need to, you know, we need to do, more uh you know more with less and um and so you know i think there's just a lot of interest in technology but technology by itself isn't necessarily a great solution i mean it's got to really be successfully integrated so we've got a you know i think a, a really good panel of different types of uh, technology experts uh, it's going to be session will be uh, moderated by arnie whitman uh, from Senior Living Trans Transformation Company, Arnie's a, a longtime friend of of Asha's, a longtime friend of mine, and you know someone who I think really has a great vision for where you know where the industry needs to be heading. So uh, we think he'll you know he'll moderate a great session. So you know that's kind of the session highlights. I mean, again, I you know I I I think people come to the. ASHA meetings, both for the education and obviously for the the networking. And, you know, we we like to try and find, you know, opportunities to allow people to connect with other professionals. And, you know, as you guys both know, we like doing outdoor activities and, you know, and kind of making making enough time for those meaningful connections. So we've got all that going on, uh, you know, coming up in, in June. Well, uh, Asha, Dave, you guys do such a great job of packing in so much value into these membership meetings that happen throughout the year. Mid-year meeting is always a lot of fun. I actually just had someone from out of state, another uh, industry partner uh, in, in my office this morning, uh, talking about looking forward actually to, to Asha, but specifically mentioned to your point, the outdoor excursions, whale watching. And it was very excited about that. I recall uh, Lucas and I did that several years back and met a lot of people that we might have not ordinarily met just because we were in that setting and struck up some conversations and built, uh, built some meaningful relationships. So I um, appreciate what you guys do. Uh, for those listeners that don't know, um, there's a lot of things that you guys do even just for the industry, not for membership. And you're always working uh, to do things to help the industry. And so um, you touched on just briefly, or you mentioned it, but for those that haven't heard about Where You Live Matters, can you just give kind of a brief overview and a, a synopsis of the why, what that does, and kind of what, what we need to do to partner with ASHA to make that a really meaningful resource? We started a consumer education website back in 2016. It's whereyoulivematters.org, O-R-G. And, you know, it really was, you know, when we initially conceived of it, the thinking was, you know, develop a website that older adults and their families could access, provide, you know, really good information. Um, and, and, you know, it, and, and I think we did that. I mean, we had, we had a, you know, a good run with the original where you live matters website. We started rebuilding it in um, 2022. I mean, it was just it was it was time. The technology had changed, but we also learned a lot. You know, you know. Again, I don't want to. I won't. I won't dwell on COVID. But you know, COVID changed a bunch of things, and it, and it really changed the way the consumers look for and access information. And so we, you know, we had a, a whole slew of of professionals in the industry, outside of the industry, helping us think about what Where You Live Matters could be. And so we really have been, you know, revamping the site. It, it's We did kind of a soft 
relaunch. So the new site is up. We're still doing work on it. Again, it's it's where you live matters dot org. Um, I mean, you know, doing some things, you know, differently um, than the than the first version. It's still, a, you know, first and foremost, we want this to be a great website for older adults, families, anyone who's looking for information about senior living. Um, and and so, you know, really robust content, first and foremost. Uh, we ad- we've added, I think, a lot more and are in the process of adding a lot more real resident video, real family member video. Uh, there'll be associates, but you know, a lot more of an emphasis on real people, real stories. Um, and so that's a kind of a major change from the original site. Uh, we've added a, a really fabulous group of um, advisors. So an advisory group, but again, uh, m- most of most of them that are, you know, affiliated with universities um, or are MDs, so we've got a really strong group of advisors who are helping us with content. Um, and again, you say, why would you do that? Well, you do that because that really will help us in the, you know, with the with the analytics and the SEO metrics. So we've got we've got people that are really very authoritative that will be helping us with content. And so, you know, we've recently, for example, added some. Uh, content on the website about assisted living pricing and assisted living costs. That content was uh, prepared by uh, Dr. Nancy Swanner, who uh, is the head of the Granger Cobb Institute at Washington State University. So, you know, those are those. That's a a big change from the way we used to do the website. The probably the biggest thing that we're doing with the website is we we are going to be you know including a very robust uh, listing of communities for consumers who are interested in searching for any type of senior living community uh, this this will be a major change from the old where you live matters website um, and again what do we want to do we want to direct the consumer directly to the community um, you know that's that is really the goal. Uh, Asha is a not-for-profit organization. The website is a not-for-profit organization. Uh, we we will not be you know selling leads or anything like that. I mean, this will be a free service uh, for the industry. We will be asking um, you know the the industry operators uh, owners to claim their community listings update them, uh, you know, add new pictures. But, uh, you know, we want to have a really robust uh, community resource there for older adults and their families. Again, if they're at that place in the journey where they're ready to search for a community, we want them to be able to do that off of Where You Live Matters. Um, So that's really what we're up to. We'll be, you know, reaching out to the, you know, to the industry in the next few weeks. And, you know, we need them to again, you know, claim their listings. There's, you know, again, a little bit of work on their, on their part. Um, But again, it's going to be worth it because, you know, ultimately we, we believe we will be delivering free qualified leads right into your, you know, whoever, whoever you tell us should get these, these contacts, they will get these leads. So that's one thing. Uh, we will also, you know, ask them to uh, backlink to where you live matters. And again, there's a benefit to where you live matters, but there's also a, an SEO benefit to the operator to do that as well. I will tell them exactly how to do that. Um, and ultimately, we'd like them to also use the content. I mean, there's a lot of really good content. So again, that content can be shared again through their own social media channels. Uh, and there's a benefit to them and there's a benefit to where you live matters. So those are, you know, those are the asks. It's not a heavy lift. There's some time associated with it um, in terms of claiming your listings, but that's what we need the industry to do. And uh, again, we'll be, you know, making that pitch, you know, in the next uh, few weeks or so. 
Well, what a great opportunity. Very consistent with the mission of Bridge the Gap, Lucas, to inform, educate, and therefore influence. Influence and educate the consumers out there. And we know, and we've talked about this, one of our broad goals here is to change the perception of senior living. And one of the ways that we could do that is our listeners partnering with Asha for a free resource, help your communities, help the residents, help the industry. And Dave, that website, one more time. It's uh, whereyoulivematters.org, O-R-G. Very good. And so many other uh, awesome resources from Asha. And Dave, I want to round out the show because a lot of people um, see the results of a lot of the work that you guys do tirelessly behind the scenes, probably not fun work uh, necessarily, uh, but important work uh, that protects our industry, protects our consumers, protects um, the services that our industry offers, and that relates to policy. Oftentimes, these are behind closed door meetings, and you're working hard to get these meetings and to represent the industry and consumers well. So can you share a little bit about uh, what you guys do at OSHA relating to policy? Sure. So, you know, OSHA really is focused primarily at the federal level. So, again, we don't have the state affiliates. So our our team is really solely focused um on federal, you know, federal issues, basically anything that would affect, you know, an investment in this type of real estate. Um, so, you know, sometimes it's, uh, you know, tax related and we expect, there'll, you know, there'll be some, you know, lots of tax work coming up again, not this Congress, but the next Congress. Um, and, and then it's, you know, other things that impact the industry. So, you know, certainly we've been really focused on, uh, you know, the, the workforce related needs of the industry, uh, not, not work that is easy. It's, it's a, it's a, gr- you know, it's a, it's a grind, you know, uh, but the, the industry desperately needs a new source of workers to be able to meet the needs of a growing older adult population. So we're up on the hill. I mean, we're we have we have uh, staff and outside legislative uh, uh, representatives up on up on sometimes our members too up on the hill. Every, literally every day of the week, uh, almost every day of the week, pro- probably you know Christmas and maybe Fourth of July week. But I mean, we're up on the hill, and we're you know talking to staffers and members of Congress and, you know, and, and the issues, you know, sometimes the issues are similar and then other times issues come up that you, you know, might not have expected you're spending time on. So like right now we're very focused working on a response to pending legislation from uh, uh, Massachusetts Senator Ed Markey. Um, he's going to introduce a bill called Health Over, Health Over Wealth. And it's a it's a bill that is, um, you know, potentially very problematic to any type of private investment in a range of healthcare entities. So, again, you may have seen some of the negative press about hospital related private equity investments. Senator Markey's bill, you know, doesn't just focus on hospitals. It focuses on, you know, a, a range of. Uh, healthcare entities, including assisted living, uh, that would just be, you know, absolutely devastating to private equity investment, REIT investment, probably any type of private for-profit investment in assisted living. And so, you know, while we, you know, we we need to take these these types of uh, bills very seriously, and we're, you know, very focused on responding. Again, working with all of the various industry groups and our members and you know so those are those are you know the kinds of things that you know if you suggested that we would be working on a bill like this you know six months ago i, I would have said no nah, that's there's 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 no way someone's going to introduce a bill uh you know that would basically you know eliminate or you know make it make it very unlikely that any private entity would invest in healthcare. i would have laughed at you but that's that's where we are today. Um, we're seeing similar bills in some states. Um, 
So we know this is an issue that, again, wasn't wasn't on the radar, you know, 12 months ago. And it's very front and center for us because this is, as you as you both know, this is a very capital intensive business and we need private investment. And, uh, you know, so that's, you know, top top priority for us right now. Well, Dave, uh, as always, thanks for leading the charge on that front to protect uh, the industry and ultimately to protect the aging population so that there are options out there, quality options, affordable options, and really options for all different um, uh, levels of of care out there. And uh, we so appreciate that. And what an honor it is to have you on the show again. Always appreciate your time uh, that you take out of your busy schedule. Uh, Lucas and I, the Bridge the Gap team, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of our listeners um, that are members and partners uh, to ASHA are looking forward to uh, being at ASHA with you at the mid-year meeting uh, coming soon. Lucas, another great wealth of information from our good friend. Absolutely. And for all of our listeners out there, we'll put Dave's information in the show notes as well as Asha's website. Once again, Dave, thanks for your time today. My pleasure. It's always wonderful to visit with both of you. And I look forward to seeing you in June. We'll see you there and hope to see our listeners there as well. We'll have our studio set up, so come by and say hello. And thanks for listening to another great episode of Bridge the Gap. Thanks for listening to Bridge the Gap podcast with Josh and Lucas. Connect with the BTG Network team and use your voice to influence the industry by connecting with us at btgvoice.com.